Assalamu alaikum guys, Ramadan Kareem. I hope you guys are having a great Ramadan. Um, I'm trying to remember what day it is of Ramadan, but I can't remember. But I told you guys I wasn't going to vlog during Ramadan, but I figured, why not? Um, I've been off of work for the past day. I just worked a whole bunch of shifts in a row. And now I'm off for about a week. Mostly because I'm refusing to go back to work. Um, I quit. But, uh, yeah, so right now it's about... What time is it? It is now 19.12. So it's 7.12. My parents have been out of town for the past 10 days. And I've just been eating, like crap for it's thought it's just basically just trash and uh now that they're coming i have to do something better than that so i'm going to cook for them and i'm going to take parents with me and show you and maybe i'll do this for like the whole week if i do something interesting i keep looking at the viewfinder but let's go so i'm to beat the oven i don't really know what to put on i'm gonna just just put on 400 um that sounds good. And I already have the kofta like, pre-made. It's just thawing out. This is going to be an issue for me growing up, getting older, but um, I have a problem touching raw meat. Like, I ooh, I just don't like touching raw meat. Just thinking about the fact that I'm going to have to touch this is making me a little nauseous. So, yeah, that's going to be a problem for me in the future. But anyway, we got kofta today. And kofta is basically just like meat rolls that have spices in it. You roll it up and make it like a log shape, like a tiny little roll shape. And then you put it in the oven. And this is really sad too. I don't know how to make roz without a rice cooker. And my rice cooker is tiny. We lo I lost the other one. So right now I only have this baby one and that's not going to be enough. So I'm going to attempt to make roz in the pot I've never done it before so we'll see how it goes okay so we got the rice in here we got the kofta right here I'm just waiting for the oven to preheat I'm gonna show you guys how to make this it's um, called I just call it crab rangoon but it's, it's probably not it's just like my own recipe so I'm gonna show you okay so I call these crab rangoons but they're probably not sorry if you can't see me you don't really need to see my face but we're gonna need some fake crab or real crab if you want to go for that but I need scissors so I'm going to use all of this because we have a big family oh preheated it This is chopped up? Yeah, fairly. Okay, so this is already chopped up. Sometimes it's not chopped up. So you're going to put that in your bowl. I'm just going to take this thing and separate it a little bit. You want to see how it looks? That's how it looks. By the way, the camera, this camera is sitting on the toaster. So, when it comes to the spices, this is the filling, obviously. You're going to need um, wonton wrappers, which I have. They were in the freezer, so they're thawing out right now. But, you're going to need some cream cheese. So, I have some already pre-opened cream cheese. I'm just going to use that. Put that in there. And, you know, I thought I'd mix it up and use kiwi. If you guys know it, every Ada person, or Muslim person, I feel like, knows what this stuff is. It's literally that it's kinda like that laughing cow cheese, but a different version of it. So I figured I'd just try to I don't know, try something different and see what it tastes like. I've never put kiwi in it. But why not? Okay now for the spices. I use garlic pepper garlic pepper, garlic powder, um, just give a little bit of flavor, and then, I think we're out of pepper, so I'm just going to use this lemon pepper, just a little bit, and then I use 
some Worcestershire sauce. I don't know why, it just tastes right. And for those of you who like spicy things, you could always make it spicy. But if anyone knows me, they know that I don't like spicy food. So I'm not making it spicy because I would like to eat it. And I'm gonna mix it up. So slight hiccup from the plan. Obviously you can conclude that I'm gonna have to fry this. And uh, I was around the kitchen, I can't find any frying oil. So we're going to Kroger's. Okay, all right, Kroger. I'm just gonna go in and out, get the zit, and then go back home. This is the South, so we drink sweet tea for a lot. Okay, my camera's about to die, but this is the filling. Um, it looks like a little bit because of this big bowl, but it's actually quite a lot. And these are the wontons. I'm not going to use this top one. Um, so these are the wontons. And you're going to just peel one off. I think that's two. So right here I have a mix of just flour and water, and that's what you use for your paste. And you put the filling just like in the middle of the wonton, and then you put some paste right here, and some paste right here, and then you fold it and then you turn to a little triangle and then you fry it. I don't have time to show you guys that process because I've only got like a, like an hour to flawed and I still have a lot to do, but I'll show you the end. So these are the ones that I made. They're a little messy, but it's fine. Um, these are the ones that are frying up right now. And I've got about 10 minutes of flawed, I think, 20. But yeah, when these are done, I'll just put them on here and show you. So I didn't get a chance to show you guys, but because they literally just ate it up, mashallah. But this is the only ones that are left. But this is how they look, and they're done. Look at this, guys. She doesn't want you to see her face. <laughs> so, as I said, I'm at Duke's apartment. I'm just going to stand in front of the Syrian flag. Because she doesn't want you to see her apartment. Can I tell them? Yeah. So, uh, Jude's moving mm -hmm. in about three weeks. Yeah. Yeah, about three weeks. So, this is, uh, we're at her apartment and she was just going through old stuff and like getting rid of stuff and like packing stuff up. And lol at that time, Jude said she was gonna do <laughs> an apartment tour and that never happened. Until the next apartment. Uh huh, sure. It's okay, you guys can wait for my apartment tour. Yes. I'll show you what, I'll actually do it. Yes. Inshallah. Inshallah. But now I gotta go to the mall because I gotta return some lipstick that melted in the car. What? Finish your sign off. That's how hot it is. Idea. Okay. Where does my money go? Gas and Sephora. This place takes all my money. It is about 5.50 in the morning and I'm driving to work. So, I only have two more shifts, including today. So today I'm working at 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. It was supposed to be 7 p.m. to 7 a.m., but I got it switched. And uh, after that, get off work, inshallah, at 7 p.m. I'm going straight to Iflaq. So the Sunnis community here in Knoxville is pretty small. So we're all pretty tight-knit. So I, we always get together during Eid and Ramadan. So today, there's a uh, Sudanese in Claude that is happening today. This guy's telling me. But uh, I'm sorry, I, the reason I'm leaving work so early is because work is an hour and 15 minutes away from home. So I work in like four different locations. And three of those locations are in different cities. So I have to drive about an hour and 15 to get to work. <laughs> Uh, on time. Technically, I was supposed to be at work 15 minutes early, 6.45, but the doctor that I'm working with today, he's known to come in late all the time. So, I'm just going to show up at 7 and shout them all. Take y'all with me. And so, I'll see you guys in about 13 hours. I figure that since I'm driving and I have a whole hour to go, I can just give you guys a little tip. So, at Taysir, we do our Thicket, or we did our Thicket every single day in the morning. So since graduate, I've just been continue, continuing doing that. 
Christy and I'm a dog. So my Mespa hat that I have like hanging right here from the mirror, I use it. Like I don't just, it's not good for decoration. So usually when I do with, um, my card, I just do, I read Surah al hat and then I read the first five ayahs of Surah Al-Baqarah. And then I read Ayat al -Kursi, and then the ayahs, the two ayahs that come after Ayat al And then the last ayahs um, of Surah Al-Baqarah, like, and then um, there's say Qulullah had three times Qul Aradu Rabbi Nas Qul Aradu Rabbi Falaq three times both of those and then um, there's another Dua Aradu Rabbi Nas Qul Aradu Rabbi Falaq three times both of those and then there's another Dua Aradu Rabbi I don't know the name of the Dua but if I'll, I can link it below and then uh, I end with Allahu la ilaha no, I end with La ilaha illallah wahtahu la sharika la Lahu al-mulk wa lahu al-hamd Wahu ala kuli shayin qadir A hundred times And then after that Subhanallah wa hamdhi Subhanallah al-azim A hundred times And then I just do that every single day And honestly When you do it every single day And you make a habit of it On the days that I don't do it Like I feel and I feel like different Like when I don't do it I can very clearly feel like the positive vibes on the days that I do do it and on the days that I don't do it I feel like something's missing and sometimes I don't do it just because you know I wake up late I get busy and I just, I just forget but I do try to do it every day and so far in Ramadan I think I've missed like four days of not doing it um, just for random reasons but not I've been doing it every day so I encourage you guys to try it too. You don't have to do it every day, but you know, try it out. Take what you like, leave what you don't like. Jude's here. So I left my wide angle lens in the car. So we're just gonna use this uh, 50 for you guys to see things. So we're at the Sudanese Iftar and none of us are eating Weka or Asila and Jude's eating Kisra Mula. Like, by the way, 13 hours later. I thought you just had to like guess. I didn't know that's how your vlog. Your mind is blown. You want to say something? Stay safe while surfing on the web. That's good advice. Don't do drugs pushed in 9 11. What? Bush is not 11? <laughs> it's like a music video. Uh, uh, I'm like doing some zoomage. Go some zoomy, some zoomy action. Zoomage. That's what I was doing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 